Let's start from the 80s. Let's start from a momentum of extreme beauty and extreme fun. But let's concentrate on something which is a product at the same time. So it's pieces that you can find in a shop, you can buy and you can wear. So this is now. I wanted to focus on the 80s so much, which is the most flamboyant, the most uh, amazing and uh, incredible moment of uh, Ungaro. And then there is an icon that I wanted to focus on, which is Stephanie di Monaco. Princess Stephanie, which was for me the most amazing. She used to wear all these frills and ruffles and rouge and sexy dresses. All these beautiful, young, new faces, they're so cool, they are very edgy and they have big personality. This season for Ungara, in my collection in Milan, I wanted to mix personalities and the characters. In this collection, I want them uh, to be extremely beautiful and extremely feminine. inspiration was like, uh, you know, the, um, in the middle of the 80s, uh, was uh, this model is called Carol Alt. Well, she, she was really beautiful. She used like uh, all the hair slick back every time. And then she was amazing. And that was the, the reference. It's very simple because all the hair is going to be slick back with the comb mark. And then and the behind has to be very, very flat, but just one wave on the end of the hair. It's about purity. It's about um, skin. So we're spending quite a bit of time working on moisturizer, hydration, making that skin glow from within. Um, yeah, so this is the Angaro woman this season. Fausto is so passionate. He has a lot of energy, so he brings a lot of excitement and enthusiasm to the show, and um, so it makes for a great experience. I like fabrics so much. I mean, I adore to start working on fabrics. I sketch all my life long. I mean, I sketch even when I'm in the beach for a holiday. So it's something which is so natural, you know? And, uh, and then, of course, the inspiration. But the inspiration is like a work in progress. This collection, there is a lot of gazar and organza, which are very haute couture fabrics, but I wanted to use uh, and develop like a pret a porter We have a classical uh, Ungaro shoulder, one shoulder, it's asymmetrical and it's a beautiful fabric. It's a jacquard from Como. I designed it personally. 
and uh, I really like it. But it's, uh, every single piece is very strong. Women are so free and so beautiful and so open-minded. They don't need a designer to say what to wear, what don't. So every woman can be the right woman. What I'm wearing is this super cute one sleeve dress and it's with like this, is it a floral pattern? Yeah, it's like with roses and stuff like that, almost like a Sleeping Beauty kind of dress. So I think it's actually really cute and feminine to wear something like this on the runway. At the show I'm wearing this. It's like a leather shorts and a jacket. It's like kind of like a biker jacket, but a little bit more a beauty up, let's say, because it has like all these details and it's, it's kind of like sleek and super modern and it's like really strong look. I'm wearing a green dress, this one. And it's very short, and uh, I personally love the shoulders. They're very structured, and it just makes a beautiful silhouette. Gara was known for colors, prints, sexy dresses. I wanted to make it in a contemporary way for now, for the nowadays. It's the perfect combination for me of sexy but playful. I love the play with colors and different textures and materials. Just give a, a different touch of the of the heritage of the house, and this is happening in every, let's say, like historic French house. There is a new designer that give the new point of view, and obviously there are some codes from Fausto that we find in uh, Ungaro as well. Manuel Ungareda is one of the, the most famous uh, 
French brands. The power of femininity in this brand has always been very, very strong. With Faust Pugliese, I think uh, it it's becoming more uh, fashion, more appealing, uh, even for a, a younger uh, woman. It was very edgy, it was cool, it was, you know, a little bit of the Ongaro blueprint was definitely there with the ruffles on the side, and Fausto was definitely having a lot of fun.